Number 1. Ford High Boy, 1966 Year of Issue The 1966 Ford High Boy is a vintage 4R4 truck from the Ford F-Series lineup. It's known for its rugged design, high ground clearance, and off-road capabilities. Engine options typically included a V8 or inline six, paired with a manual transmission. These trucks are valued for their durability and are popular among collectors and off-road enthusiasts. Links to listings below. Number two, Ford Model A, 1932 year of issue. The 1932 Ford Model A, also known as the Deuce, is an iconic vehicle that followed the Model T. It featured a classic design with a distinct grille, rounded fenders, and a longer hood. Powered by a 201 cubic inch inline four engine and a three speed manual transmission, it offered modern features like hydraulic shock absorbers. Popular among collectors and hot rod enthusiasts, the Model A's legacy includes its influence on American automotive culture and the development of custom cars. You're looking at a 1932 Ford project. Sitting on a Model A frame with a Model A bed. Someone was working on it to turn it into a rat rod. It has a V6 and automatic transmission. Number 3. Ford Galaxy 500. 1961 year of issue. The 1961 Ford Galaxy 500 was a stylish and powerful full-size car, featuring a sleek design with a distinctive grille and chrome accents. It offered a range of engine options, including a potent 390 cubic inch V8. With modern features like power steering and optional air conditioning, it was popular among consumers and remains a sought-after classic car today. Nineteen sixty-one Ford Galaxy five hundred four door sedan has the two hundred twenty-three inline six engine. This car has sat for so long that the engine is likely stuck. Body has the usual Minnesota rust. Floor pans needs repair. Could not get in the trunk. Needs total restoration. would look a lot nicer if it were pressure washed. It is winter here, so we could not do so.
no title, asking $1,800. Number 4. Cadillac Calais 1973 Year of Issue The 1973 Cadillac Calais was a luxurious, full-size car known for its elegant design, spacious interior and smooth ride. It was powered by a V8 engine and offered a range of comfort and convenience features typical of Cadillac's premium offerings. Despite its large size, the Calais was praised for its handling and comfort, making it a popular choice among luxury car buyers during that era. Nineteen seventy three Cadillac Calais two door coupe has a four hundred seventy two eight with an automatic transmission. The previous owner had this car running about three years ago before he sold them to the person we bought it from. We have not tried starting it. Car has its usual rust. Mostly complete would make a great project. Asking $2,000. Number 5. Chevrolet Corvair. Nineteen sixty one year of issue. The nineteen sixty one Chevrolet Corvair was a compact car with a rear engine air cooled design. It gained attention for its unique styling and innovative engineering, including independent suspension. Despite initial success, it faced controversy due to safety concerns that led to reforms in automotive regulations. If you are looking for an affordable rampside project, this might be the truck for you. While it is no cream puff, structurally it is solid. Recently, the truck has had a good used, cleaned out fuel tank installed new brake shoes, wheel cylinder, rubber lines, and the shoes turned. While the drivetrain is not installed, the truck would come with a rebuildable 80 HP Corvair engine. Number one, Dodge truck. 1941 year of issue. The 1941 Dodge truck was a robust and reliable vehicle commonly used for commercial purposes and during wartime. It featured a sturdy construction, utilitarian design and was powered by various engine options suitable for hauling and heavy duty tasks.
Its durability and functionality made it a popular choice among businesses and individuals needing a dependable workhorse. You are looking at a WWY 1941 Dodge WC3, open top, weapons carrier, World War II military vehicle project. This is a 1-2 ton Wolf R4 project with manual transmission and a 2.6L flat 6 engine. It appears that it may have originally been issued to the Marine Corps. The sheet metal is super solid on this truck. It is missing the radiator. There can't be many of these around, as most of them went overseas during the war and never came home when the war was over. I feel that my price of $4,500 links to listings below. Number 2. Ford F-350, 1970 year of issue. The 1970 Ford F-350 was a heavy-duty truck known for its robust performance and towing capabilities. It was part of Ford's F-Series lineup and offered a range of powerful engine options. With its sturdy construction and rugged design, the F-350 was popular among commercial users and those needing a reliable vehicle for heavy-duty tasks. You are looking at a 1970 Ford F-350 flatbed hauler, nice 8CLD truck with a 360 and manual transmission. This would make someone a good work or farm truck. I feel that my price of $5,500 is very realistic for a classic vehicle like this one with the potential that this vehicle has. Support the creation of our videos with your subscription. Number 3. Willie's Jeep. 1947 year of issue. The 1947 Willis Jeep was a versatile and rugged vehicle originally designed for military use. It gained popularity as a civilian vehicle due to its off-road capabilities, compact size and reliability. The Jeep's iconic design and durability made it a favorite for outdoor enthusiasts and practical everyday transportation. 1947 Willys Jeep. Wagon ATTN Restorers. This classic, 1940s Willys Wagon is truly a diamond in the rough. The frame and undercarriage had been undercoated. Flathead four kilns, engine six, 
Volt electrical system. Three, speed on the column. Manual transmission, rear wheel drive. Fully restored these. Number four, Mercury Monterey. 1960 year of issue. The 1960 Mercury Monterey was a stylish full-size car known for its elegant design and luxurious features. It offered a smooth ride, spacious interior, and a range of engine options for different performance levels. The Monterey was popular among buyers looking for a blend of comfort, performance and classic American style during the early 1960s. 1960. Mercury Monterey Project. Here is a super solid 1960 Mercury. It runs drives and stops been sitting for many years. It's super solid. Original paint with great patina. Needs interior work or some Mexican blankets over the seats. Support the creation of our videos with your subscription. Number 5. Chevrolet Dump Truck. 1946 year of issue. The 1946 Chevrolet dump truck was a robust and utilitarian vehicle designed for heavy duty hauling and construction work. It featured a durable construction, powerful engine options, and a hydraulic dump bed for easy unloading of materials. The Chevrolet dump truck was a popular choice among businesses and contractors needing a reliable and capable work truck during that era. Nineteen forty six Chevy one point five ton dump truck. It has been sitting for years, but is is good condition, would be a great prospect to restore. Body is straight and in good shape. There is only two small dints in the passenger fender, and the only rust is above the windshield. Number one Packard two hundred. Nineteen fifty one year of issue. Nineteen fifty one Packard two hundred. Used as a prop in Men of Honor, starring Cuba. Gooding and Robert De Niro. The body and interior are in very good shape. With the exception of a small tear where the bony butt of a previous owner wore it through. It's totally rebuildable and, except for the motor, I believe it is ready for the road. I drove it for some time before I took it in for the engine rebuild. Take it and make it your own. If you are handy with tools, this is the car for you. Links to listings below. Number 2. Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow. 1967 year of issue. Well kept, garaged and ready to drive. <coughs> Clean, clear California title. Primary work since I've owned. Rebuilt starter, muffler and exhaust pipes. See new picks. Freeze plugs, battery, fluids changed, tune-up, tinted windows. 
Note, mufflers and pipes were installed March 26, 2024. There are three new photographs of the underside showing the recent attention to mufflers and exhaust system. Radio works great. Antenna goes up and down. This model also came with the fold-down picnic tables. Very cool! Also supplied is a first edition owners. Number three. Mercedes-Benz 2 Fifth IS, 1967 year of issue. Nineteen sixty-seven two fan by S W one zero eight all original parts except the carburetor, which recently replaced by a new Fitech fuel injection system. Original carburetor will come with the car. Manual transmission, brand new tires. The car requires paint job and rust repair work. Everything else is in a good working condition. Not in rush to sell, but I recently bought a 66 Mustang, and I don't have space for two classic cars in my garage. Brand new door and window seals, side mirror, radio, headliner, and some other parts have been purchased and will be given to the new order for future replacement if desired. Number 4. MGMGB 1974 year of issue. This car has always been garage kept. The car is powered by a rebuilt 1798cc inline 4 engine, backed by a rebuilt 4-speed manual transmission. The rebuilt engine is equipped with an APT, Advanced Performance Technology, Performance Camshaft and Dual Triumph Spitfire, 1500 carburetors. Features include a Sony AM-FM cassette stereo, a wood rim steering wheel, new 18570 Hankook, Kinergy ST Rodial tires with chrome trim rings, black rubber bumpers, full length side, trim with white side accent stripes, a new black vinyl folding convertible top over a black vinyl interior of bucket seats, trim and door panels and a chrome luggage rack. Support the creation of our videos with your subscription. Number 5. Triumph TR6 1974 Year of Issue Beautiful 1974 Triumph TR6 Convertible Great driving car with only 45,000 miles Clean title Six-cylinder engine Dual carbs and tight steering provide lots of power and handling for those twisty country roads The interior is clean with no tears or carpet wear. It has a roll bar and custom wind deflector, which can be removed. The rear window is clear and the top is in good condition. The radio has a USB connection for phone charging or playback through the radio. Also included is an old classic picnic basket for a real nostalgic look. Includes car cover. Number 6. Chevrolet El Camino. 1978 year of issue. This show ready. Nineteen seventy-eight El Camino was meticulously restored top to bottom, leaving the fantastic original interior to enjoy. So many highlights. It looks great, runs great, and drives like a dream. You can feel why this is such an iconic Chevy. Under the hood is a well-designed Restomod engine that is chromed out and perfect. Only fifteen thousand miles on the three foot Fiat VV8 crate motor. 
filled with Edelbrock Performance Engine components. Mirror-topped custom stainless steel battery box. Everything looks new. It sounds great and is smooth and responsive. Very nice driving vehicle. The body and paint is near perfect. The truck bed has custom stainless steel bed. Strips that could not look better. Custom wheels. Full spare tire in the interior storage compartment. Number 7. Nash Rambler. 1961 year of issue. The Rambler American Convertible is a classic automobile that was built and sold by American Motors Corporation starting in the year this beauty was built. Nineteen sixty one, running on six cylinder L head engine, three speed manual transmission, overdrive combination, and Silvertown White Wall. One hundred sixty five row fifteen eighty six X tires. Vehicle was owned by a couple that lived in Illinois, relocated to Sarasota, Florida, and this seller is only the second owner. Untouched, except for the replacement rug, this automobile is well sought after as it is 100% in original condition. The perfect vehicle for the individual who wants to take the time to make it their own. Links to listings below. Number 8. Buick Electra. 225. 1973 year of issue. 1973 GM Buick Electra. 225 Limited 1973 Vintage Car. The car has a 455 V8 engine with no leaks. Three-speed transmission with overdrive. Olive green in color original paint. Good tires with Kragar rims, Clarion CD player and kicker speakers. Tachometer, steering column lock. The car is in good condition considering it is 40 years old. This car has only 599949 miles and is road ready. The car has had two owners prior to me. I have all service records form around 30,000 miles and all repair records and upgrades to engine. As well as documentation, it also comes with the original paperwork and Bible. Links to listings below. Number 9. Buick Centurion. 1972 year of issue. The Centurion is meticulously maintained and professionally serviced and repaired. Rock solid. There is some dust rust under the car as can be expected from a 50 year old car that is driven to enjoy. But nothing structural or on bumpers which could not be elbow greased out. Trunk lid has rust on bottom end. Missing is the air conditioning unit and there is a small tear on the right hand side roof line. Parts are readily available. A better example of the original leather interior can hardly be imagined. The front and back seats are like new. The dashboard and flooring are immaculate. The vehicle is as authentic as can be. Add in value under the hood with all its VIN numbers matching everywhere. Fort L. Buick, Peckshire, Centurion, 47. 2DR, Hardtop, T House, V8, Wurt 455. Four Barrel Carb. Two Rose, 1972 Y, Wilmington, D Assembly Plant. 218,153 production serial number. Number 10, Jeep CJ7, 1979 year of issue. 1979 Jeep CJ7 V8 5.0. Runs and drive great. Majorly restored. Custom paint job with hard top and doors, painted to match. Flooring lizard skin coated. Automatic full time 444 high low. A lot of new parts, add-on options. Skyjack's lift kit, free swing axles front and rear for rock climbing. 
Hardtop paint with flakes to match the body's paint job. Dual Pro. Flow exhaust. Sounds great. Sits on 35-inch BF Goodrich. Minor weather crack. Power steering pump. All new brake pads and calipers. Full-time, 4 automatic high-low. 